All right, everybody, we're going to talk today a little bit about uh, Soda Dungeon and a little uh, save game uh, exploit you can do. Um, you can see here I have two of the same file. Um, so I just want to show you guys how to do this. So let's say, for example, you hit this one. Okay, it gives you an up, you hit upload, say yes, gives you a code that you can copy and then come to a blank file and put your code in load it download complete and you've got a copy of your file now okay great so we made a copy of a file right so what do we do with this copy of the file well, you can actually, so what I recommend, you, you, you make a copy of the file, and you use the copy to just log into a couple of times a day, and in that couple of times a day, you just log in, you collect your double cash from the bank, make sure you got a bank going, you definitely want to get a bank going. Collect your reward, collect this, do this a couple of times a day, and just do that with your second file. Play your other games, uh, play your other files, but make sure you log into this one every day. You do that, you, the thing is, is you build up cash really, really quickly. So play a little ways in, finish a couple, at least a few dungeons, get yourself a banker, level them up, and then what you do is you just make yourself a second file like this and you keep saving money you're gonna have after a while a crap ton of money saved up because this when you hit this banker it's always a percentage of what you get you want to definitely get the banker all the way up to level six you definitely need to do that money is like really seriously everything in this game and all this game is is about just having the patience you save up the money. You save up the money, and this game gets really easy. The more money you save, the easier this game is. That's the way Soda Dungeon is. It's all about saving money. Uh, sometimes you have to do the little expenditures, but the truth is, is that the longer you can save, the more money you can save, the more money you can use to cash in and convert essences, and then in turn level up your people and it makes the game easier and easier and easier next thing you know you've got a crap ton of money saved up and you can make major purchases in the VIP store see you can max it you can max out gnomes you can do stables you can do all this stuff you can get all this crap, okay? First you need battle caps for that, you gotta finish past level 10 for that stuff, but that's a little bit later in the game. But all this other stuff, like the all site, the M clock, that stuff's really super expensive. I think it's, if I remember, it was like 500 million for this. And all I did was just save money and save money on a different file while I was playing another file. And then eventually it was just was such an easy way to play. And of course the uh if you guys really want to know the um I'll just real quick I'll do a demonstration. This is like early on um, in this file, but with the uh what do you call it? With the M clock on turned on, it makes the battles go much faster. You can make money way faster. See, I mean, this is like ten times faster than the way it is with without it on. It's so much faster. You make money so much quicker. You can progress through this game so much faster with that on. Really, this game is all about patience, though. You have the patience to take the time to save. That's why I recommend copying your save file and doing that once you've gotten a little ways in and you've built up like at least a million a million gold once you have a million gold 
you can log in a couple of times a day, maybe uh, more, the more you have, it, the banker is key. Seriously, you just make yourself a copy, go visit the banker a couple of times a day, on the secondary file, play the other file however you want, and before you know it, you're going to have a crap ton of money. That's all I got.